Hey guys, a lot of you have been asking um, about NVIDIA and why it's going lower. All right, so I wanted to address that, talk about it this evening because I know everyone is concerned about NVIDIA right now. Now, I have to tell you the fundamentals are still intact, okay? So fundamentally, everything is fine with NVIDIA, all right? It's, but it's a technical all right, and the seasonality, that's the problem right now with NVIDIA, okay? So we're going to talk about the technical analysis and the seasonality. Um, and that's really why um, NVIDIA is going lower. As far as the fundamentals, nothing has changed, all right? So it's still a great company, all right? All the P ratio, all of that, right, is, is fine, <laughs> all right? Um, but the, 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 the technical analysis, that's what's breaking down and uh, the seasonality. Okay, so what you guys need to know as investors and traders is that the markets are cyclical. Okay, so um, we are entering or we have been in um, the season where all stocks, the majority of the stocks will move lower. Okay, if you guys ever heard of the term sell in May and go away, all right, what that means is that, guess what? Just like we take vacation during the summer months, the big hedge funds, big institutions, they take vacations also in the summer months. So you will find that uh, June, July, August, September are the lightest volume, right? That's when we have the lowest amount of volume in the markets, all right? So those big hedge funds, big institutions are not available to hold uh, the market up. So most of your corrections, most of your um, crashes will happen in the summer months. And then the big institutions will come back in for the fourth quarter, all right? Uh, and hopefully catch the Christmas rally starting in October, November, and December, all right? So... Uh, we are caught up in a seasonality right now. And the fact that, you know, um, NVIDIA and the Magnificent Seven stocks have made all-time highs, it's prime time for big institutions to get out, all right? Uh, the, the problem, though, is that this is lining up perfectly with the technical um, analysis that we, that we look for. Uh, when we look at our charts, okay? So I want you guys to pay attention to what's going on here. So just keep in mind, all right, the buy-in, when the buy, the seasonality, when we buy stocks, okay, generally starts in October and then go through about April, May, all right? That's usually the bullish. Now, it doesn't work out exactly like that every single year, but it works out quite a bit enough so that we have historical trends um, that, that follow that, okay? Now, the most bearish part of the year will be from uh, June, July, August, September. So just remember that as we go to the charts. Now, when the charts line up, when we can use technical analysis to line up, right, with the seasonality, and even the fundamentals, then we've got something really uh, special. So I'm going to share my trading screen here so you guys can see what we're, we're talking about, okay? Now, when we, when we uh, trade, guys, we always pay attention to the S&P, NASDAQ, the Dow, and the IWM or the Russell. All right, but for NVIDIA, NVIDIA falls under uh, the NASDAQ, okay? So it's a NASDAQ stock. So we'll take a look at, and we'll open this up so you guys can see here. So this is the NASDAQ. And all right, we know NVIDIA has been very, very bullish. But what we're looking for right now, all right, on the NASDAQ, is this. So we got a sell signal on our price chart right here. And, and 
Uh, right here is our trend line. And what we're looking for on the NASDAQ, here is a break of support. We got a red candle, so we got a sell signal. This white arrow here is our sell signal to get out of the trade. All right, so we got red candles. Those are sellers, and that's timely too. So that is right here, and that's July the 24th. And as you notice here, right, uh, the NASDAQ will be making lower highs, lower lows, okay? Lower highs, lower lows, but broke a support right here. Red candle. So now we're looking for the NASDAQ to perhaps get to this trend line here. If it holds this trend line and bounce back like it did here, then, you know, that might be fine for NVIDIA. But we'll wait and see. The bottom line, we've got a sell signal here on the NASDAQ, okay? Now, I want you guys to take a look at the sector. So this is the index, the NASDAQ, and let's take a look at uh, the technology uh, sector, and let's see what that's doing. So tech right now also gave a sell signal right here, lower lows, Lower highs, broke a support here, red candle. These red candles, guys, that's always a concern. Those are big sellers. And the longer those candles are, right, um, that's more, a lot more selling. And that's those big institutions um, either getting out and uh, followed by retail traders like us, okay? And now I want you guys to see which is the most important thing, NVIDIA stock, Okay. Now, if we draw a trend line here, now the video had some great opportunities to go long, all right? So we use our system, try to, this, now this won't be perfect, okay? But just about right here. Now our buy signal here, this blue arrow here, all right, way back on 11.23 was about $47 and then a sell signal here at 83. And now this is this now this price in here is after the split, guys. Okay, so after this, the NVIDIA split. And then the most previous buy signal here was at 101 and then broke support. All right. You guys remember whenever the price breaks support, that's sellers coming in. So we gotta be we gotta get out. So right now. Right, NVIDIA has a sell signal, guys, right here to be out. We've got red candle here. Now, the bottom line is this. We could get a bounce, but remember what happens in Ju June, July, August, September, right? That's we're out of the buying season. So the fact that we're not making new highs, sellers are coming in. We're testing this trend line here. We could see... The video move much, much lower. Okay. Now the next area of support is right about here. So we always want again pay attention to our um, seasonality. Fundamentals are great. All right. Fundamentals are still intact, but boy, that technical analysis um, isn't favoring um, the video right now. So if we break through that trend line. All right, next support area is right here. And it's decent support. It's not great support. This is where we had the previous good cup and handle, gapped up, buy signal here. But right at 96, all right, we might call that, uh, let's call it $100. So nice round even number. Traders really love those even numbers. So $100, if it doesn't hold $100, that hundred dollar level, guys. The next support for Nvidia is about. Let's bring that about right here, which is about eighty three. Okay, so uh, just be very, very careful. Okay, now if you if you got in here, you you holding fine so far. Okay, um, but boy, if it starts to come down, all right. Remember. We're in the summer months, so these big institutions, they're not going to get in front of it to try to hold it up. Okay, so hope this helps. I know you guys are really concerned about NVIDIA. Now, guess what? Um, uh, just be careful. Just be careful because we could see sellers really come, come in.
push it down. And we have a sell signal on the NASDAQ also. And on technology, the technology sector also have a sell signal and big sellers are coming in. All right. All right, guys. Hope this helps. Take care. Bye-bye.